I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get to stay Cause I gotta like that, always have my own hi my lovelies welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video we're going to be talking about perfumes that i influenced you to buy but before i start this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is this idea actually came from one of my followers on instagram she sent me a picture of the perfume she recently bought because of of me and a lot of you guys do send me photos when you buy new perfumes and it literally makes me so so happy so i was talking to my daughter about it and she goes mom why don't you do a video on this because a lot of people are new to your channel a lot of people are thinking what kind of taste does abby have do we have similar taste because a lot of the times when i watch fragrance review it's based off of the taste of the fragrance reviewer it's not necessarily about what perfumes they're showing me if i find that we have a similar taste it makes it easier for me to blind buy because i can't lie even though i advise you guys not to blind buy i blind buy i blind buy perfumes because first i don't have that much time to go into stores to smell a lot of the perfumes that i love are not available for me to smell um or the samples are just too expensive and i just don't see the point i rather blind buy and if i don't like it i either sell it on or give it to someone that will like it so i wanted to speak about there's a lot of perfumes that have influenced people to buy like a ton of it and i'm really really proud of myself so this is kind of like an appreciation for myself and also to help you guys out that are thinking of you know starting a perfume collection or you're looking for a fragrance reviewer that you can like get with that you can just be like you know what she hasn't stared me wrong yet <laughs> and i hope i never ever stare you guys wrong but i don't think i ever will because i always come out with honesty i come out and tell you exactly what i think of a perfume whether it's been sent to me whether i paid for it with my own coins i will always always be honest but these perfumes are not new to my ogs a lot of you guys that have been watching me for years you already know these perfumes are my holy grails these perfumes are like perfumes that i'm just so so obsessed with and i will recommend them over and over and over again i'm not in the business of getting every new perfumes that's out there it's not what i want to do because a lot of perfumes right now are either reminds me of something that i have in my collection or there's just nothing special about them so i don't buy perfumes for the sake of collecting i think i have you guys can see behind me i have too many perfumes i probably won't even get through them in a lifetime but if i love a perfume if a perfume speaks to me best believe i will buy it but i don't jump on hypes i don't you know what let me not ramble on for too long let me speak about the perfumes that you guys have bought because of me and you love like literally none of these perfumes have a bad feedback except for one and i don't want to say it's a bad feedback it's just the person had was expecting something else and they didn't get that which i'll come to in a moment so let's start with the one that will not shock any of you guys it is changing constance by pen halligans i absolutely love this this perfume is probably probably i'm um, on my third bottle of constance i love this caramel goodness this is got some spices like cardamom like pimento it's got salted caramel it's vanillic it's incredible it's a gourmand it's not too sweet it is perfect for autumn and winter i am obsessed with this perfume this is my favorite perfume by pen halligans and i will never ever stop talking about it so a lot of you guys bought this because of me especially when i started talking about it i think it was back in 20 2021 or 2022 i can't remember but i have been raving about this for such a long time i feel like this is a masterpiece in my humble opinion and i feel like everyone that loves a gourmand will appreciate this perfume the next perfume is banana banana by lartisan perfumer i love this perfume so much that my husband bought me like three backup bottles because one of you guys scared me and you told me this was being discontinued and i mentioned it to my husband and he said discontinued no it came home one day was it that i got a delivery one of the two and i was just like oh my lord so i have backup upon backup upon backup of this beautiful banana perfume this is one of the best if not the best banana scent that i have ever had my nose on now this was the perfume that one person had a feedback on they were complaining about longevity 
and i've never ever said that this is beast mode i think people mistake projection to longevity when a perfume projects it's filling up a room people can smell you from a mile away but when the perfume is long lasting it's not necessarily projecting but you can smell yourself it sits closer to the skin after a few hours so i think a lot of people kind of don't understand the difference with those two but anyway i have never said banana banana was projecting people will smell you of course but they have to come a little bit closer i find banana banana long lasting this is a beautifully crafted greeny sweet banana um tonka bean very very sexy very addictive so so beautiful and powdery i love this perfume more than i can say i feel like it's so feminine it's just me in a bottle it's, it's a lot of you guys in the bottle honestly you guys love this perfume i've had pictures upon pictures upon pictures of people buying this perfume and they are not disappointed i love it you can only get it on Latizan's website last time that i checked because people find it hard to find it if you are looking for banana banana you just need to go onto their website they have it there it's a beautiful perfume honestly you will not be disappointed even if you don't like bananas this is definitely worth getting your nose on next we have delina exclusive by performs the mali this is my 75 mil and this is my 30 mil which has almost finished i take this one to work and yeah it's almost finished this perfume i love if you were to meet me in person this is what i smell like literally 90 percent of the time i am wearing delina exclusive by performs the mali this is another one that is rose that is powdery it's sweet it's floral it's addictive it projects like crazy it lasts long for days this is an incredible perfume in my humble opinion and a lot of you guys agree this is a lot of people's favorites out of all the delina sisters because you got the original delina you got the exclusive and you got the la rose la rose is lovely it's very aquatic fresh rose but i don't like it as much as i do delina and exclusive but i feel like that delina la rose is definitely great for spring summer but me i don't care i would wear delina exclusive anytime any see it could be blazing hot it could be freezing cold i would wear this perfume because it gets me so much compliments i love the way that i feel when i smell this perfume it is such a masterpiece by the brand my favorite perfume by performs the mali i will never ever stop wearing this perfume and i know a lot of people love it so that is delina exclusive by performs the mali next we have neroli blanc intense this perfume is the best orange blossom perfume that i have ever ever gotten my nose on this is fresh this is sweet this is beautiful this is absolutely incredible i love this perfume it projects it lasts long it smells great you can wear this during any time of the year it's such a wonderful smelling perfume again one that a lot of people including influencers have bought this perfume because of more and that makes me feel so good you guys don't understand how much this makes me feel so proud of myself because it's really hard to talk about perfumes it's so hard to describe perfumes it's hard to make people smell the perfume through the screen but heaven knows that i try my best so much to make everything sound as imaginative as possible and i feel like i did really well with this one <laughs> not me hyping myself jeez <laughs> but honestly speaking this perfume is definitely amazing if you have not checked neroli blanc intense out what are you even doing i have a discount code this is such an affordable niche perfume i love the brand i love what they stand for they are so nice this was sent to me i've run like two competition on instagram and i think one on um youtube as well where i gave away a free bottle of this perfume and it is really really loved by many people it reminds me of love don't be shy by killian but i find that this one is really really it's way better it's not as gourmand it's not as cloyingly sweet it is just different it's like in its own league and i believe this is like about 100 pounds which is working out at 
110 dollars or something like that for a 100 ml perfume that smells amazing and no one is going to smell like you honestly if you can get this perfume it is a blind buy safe i say that only because i have never had anyone come back to say they didn't like it so i'm guessing it is blind buy safe so that is the Roly Blanc Intense. The next perfume I have influenced you to buy is Annie by Nishane. This is a spicy, gingery, um, sexy vanilla. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. One of my most complimented, if not my most complimented vanilla perfume. This is luxury. This is luxurious. This smells, oh guys, if you like a spicy vanilla super spicy in the opening but the dry down oh it's beautiful i love spicy perfumes i really enjoy spicy food spicy perfume spice makes me just it kind of wakes me up it makes me feel alive and that's what annie does for me it's a beautiful scent it's super long lasting it projects so much another one that is a compliment magnet if you have not checked annie out i urge you to check out Annie by Nishane. Next, we have Oud Bouquet by Lancome. This is a second bottle. My first bottle I finished just about a couple of weeks, not a couple of weeks ago, like a couple of months ago, I finished it. And I was leaving my new bottle to just sit there and just macerate. It smells delicious. This is vanilla. This is praline. This is rose. This is oud, but a very, very nice, friendly, sophisticated oud. This perfume is so beautiful. Again, I wear this a lot. I pair this a lot with Delena Exclusive. They go so well together. Together, they are absolutely magical. I love Lancome's oud bouquet. I find it to be long lasting. I find it to be very, very sweet. You do have to like a sweet perfume to enjoy this scent. People are shocked that I finished a whole bottle of it because a little goes a long way. But for me, I overspray. Yes, I want people to smell me from the third street. I want people to, I want to smell myself. And I wore this a lot to events last year. So hence the reason why I was able to finish it quite quickly. But this perfume is absolutely stunning and a lot of people absolutely adore it. Now, although some people don't want to give accolades for this one, me, I'm giving accolades to myself. And next we have peregrina by thamine i spoke about this perfume first i think it was when they brought it out in this bottle um i think it was two three years ago i literally added this to my collection i bought this the minute i knew that it was available at selfridges now this is a special valentine's day bottle it comes in the regular blue bottle as well but i wanted the red bottle because red is one of my favorite colors now peregrina is a very beautiful sweet rose this is rose this is caramel i get wood in this perfume it's also quite woody in the dry down i definitely sense and I get some oudy vibe from this, but it's kind of like similar to same oud in um, oud bouquet because it's a friendly oud. It's very soft. It's very delicate. It's just so, so amazing. A lot of people purchased this perfume once I started speaking about it. A lot of people started speaking about it when I began to speak about it. So I feel like I shine the light on this brand, especially in this space. Um, and I, I take full credit. Yes, I take full credit for this. Okay, maybe not full credit because I'm pretty sure someone else may have spoken about it. But when people post this on Instagram, I'm tagged. When people talk about this perfume, people that are honest and are open, they will say, I learned about this perfume from abby with love like she's the one that made me to visit this brand made me to visit this perfume so i definitely feel like i really spread the word when it came to peregrina i think it's an amazing perfume it comes with a body lotion guys when i tell you the body lotion is so potent it smells exactly like the perfume you don't actually need the perfume if you want to get the cream because this is a pretty penny but it's a oh it's a beautiful perfume that is worth every single penny in my opinion so that is peregrina by famine so we got three perfumes to go next is sweet diamond pink pepper by kayali i'm not going to bring this close because i don't know this bottle just does does the most but i absolutely love it this is my favorite kayali like when kayali pours this perfume i constantly say this is my favorite kayali this is the most unique spicy 
oudi rose that i've ever ever smelt now i'm not taking full credit for making this popular because kayali does a good job by themselves but a lot of people didn't give this a chance one people don't like rose people seem to associate rose with age with like you know someone is too mature to wear a rose or or if a rose is being worn by someone is because they are old a lot of people don't check out rose perfumes for that reason a lot of people also don't like spicy perfume so put spicy and rose together it's just like ooh. I don't want but but when people smell this perfume a lot of people fell in love with it and i feel like i brought it to the forefront of this space so i absolutely enjoy sweet diamond pink pepper i feel like it's sweet it's rosy it's giving me middle eastern vibe but like on the highest tier like this is giving luxury this is giving rich girl vibes this is giving dubai bling this is absolutely delightful so i'm gonna talk about these last two perfumes because they are from the same brand and i definitely raved about this perfume first we're going to start with Ambre Nui by Christian Dior. First of all, people were shocked by the size of this because this is not your regular 100 ml. This is 250 ml. This perfume I love. This is like a sparkling, juicy, intoxicating, inviting rose. This is uniquely stunning. There is nothing like this in my collection. A lot of people love and love this perfume because I wouldn't stop raving about it. This made my top 10 list of for life this made my top, top 10 list of summer of spring i spoke about this perfume so much to the point where people were like ah let me go check out this perfume and when they do they absolutely love it the next one is greedy by christian dior this i made a dedicated review on this perfume i am truly obsessed with this patchouli and rose now don't run away because this is patchouli this is patchouli done so differently this perfume is so unique but in the best possible way the only qualms i have with this perfume is because i can't spray it anymore and i moaned about it in my last two videos i complained about it i told dior about it and i said dior help a sister out i cannot spray this beautiful perfume and they told me to just do one they didn't help me and i am salty about it but that's okay because i'm going to decant it somehow i may have to yank it out so that i can put it like in a in the atomizer i think some of you guys gave me some suggestions which i'm yet to try out so i'm going to try the suggestions first and see if i can get it to work if not then i'm just gonna have to find a way to decant it because i love this perfume i cannot be without it and as much as dior gave me very crappy customer service experience it's not going to deter me from getting this perfume once it is finished so that is greedy by christian dior so my lovelies that is it for today's video as i said at the beginning there are other perfumes that i'm pretty sure i influence you to buy if i influence you to buy any perfume comment that perfume down below i would absolutely love to read every single one of your comments thank you so much for watching this video i really 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 want to take this opportunity to thank every single one of you for your constant support for talking to me on instagram for sending me photos of your perfumes for just sharing yourselves with me you guys have no idea how much it means to me so thank you once again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot Wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.